Hello and welcome everyone to the 10th episode of Inside AMG where we have arrived at the letter J and for us J is going to stand for journey. What's the perfect car for epic journeys? This car right behind me, the Mercedes AMG G63 and that's going to be the star of today's video. However, before we hit the road we're going to have another star in today's video that you're already familiar with and that's also the reason why parts of this video are going to be in German. Hallo, Hallo Felix. Michael. Hallo. Wie geht's dir? Sehr gut, danke. Und selber? Sehr, sehr gut. Wir müssen leider hier so ein bisschen äh, Abstand wahren. Es sind immer noch ähm, spezielle Zeiten, in denen wir hier arbeiten. Ja. Was hast du denn für uns heute vorbereitet? Ja, ähm, es geht um die AMG G-Klasse und ich habe da so ein paar alte Dokumente, alte Bilder in meinem Archiv vorbereitet, so als Einführung für diesen Tag heute. Klingt super. Dann schauen wir uns das mal an, würde ich sagen, oder? Gehen wir. Wunderbar. Okay, ich sehe direkt schon ein paar Highlights, nicht schlecht. Also ich habe, wie ich dir vorher versprochen habe, ein paar Sachen vorbereitet aus den Anfängen der AMG Geländewagenproduktion 79, 80. Da haben wir angefangen für Kunden Geländewagen umzubauen, vor allem Interieur. Und wie du hier siehst, ich habe da mal so ein, so, ja. so ein Beispielbild. Ja. Ich wollte gerade sagen, ähm, ziemlich exotisch. Also da muss man auch es, schon zweimal es, hinschauen. Ja, es war, ein, es war ein ganz spezieller Kundenwunsch. Die Front von seinem G wollte er eine S-Klasse Front. Ja. Ähm, das, äh, das Design ist wirklich von der W116 S-Klasse. Ja, ich wollte es gerade sagen. Ja. Du siehst es hier am Kühlergrill, der ist sogar 24 Grad vergoldet. Ja. Tatsächlich? Das ist tatsächlich so. Wow, ja. okay. Wenn du ja, weiterblätterst, du siehst, wie der, wie der, was wir sonst noch so vorbereitet haben. Das Fahrzeug war ein Nutzfahrzeug eigentlich, kam mhm. aus der Nutzfahrzeugbranche oder Ecke. Beim Ach, nächsten Wahnsinn. Bild, ja, da sehen wir, wir hatten Recaro-Sitze drin, wir hatten komplett Belederung. Das waren so die Anfänge, wo man die Kunden einfach aus dem Nutzfahrzeug einfach so schon, schon in Richtung Luxusfahrzeug gegangen sind. Ja. Ich habe hier einen, da hatten wir schon etwas mehr drin. Ja. Da gab es Hi-Fi, Video, ähm, TV, ähm, Klapptische hinten im Fond für die, für die, die hinten sitzen. Ja. Also, also Sachen, die absolut... <lacht> ja. Okay, das ist ein bisschen älter noch, oder? Das ist etwas älter, ja. Wow. Ähm, da gab es sogar, sogar oben über den, also an den Sonnenblenden eine komplette Hi-Fi-Anlage. Ja. Die wurde oben verbaut, überhalb. Von, von den von die Köpfen. Mhm. Ja. Ähm, der Fernsehvideoturm, der kam zwischen die Sitze, fürs vorn hinten. Ja. Also lauter solche absolute speziellen Kundenwünsche. Nicht schlecht, auch die Sitze wieder. Also man erkennt schon wirklich, es ist noch eine G-Klasse, auch innen von der Form und allem. Hier ist es natürlich sehr rot, viel Leder. Also ihr habt ja wirklich überall Hand angelegt. Wahnsinn. Klar. Also es waren dann auch Einzelanfertigungen. Es waren sehr viele Unikale dabei. Ja. Am Anfang war es noch diese diese klassische Leistungssteigerung von den, von den äh, vorhandenen Serienmotoren, mhm. ja, die wir dann machten. Also wir hatten äh, eine Entwicklung geplant, das siehst du hier. Mhm. Ähm, da hatten wir einfach mal einen V8 eingebaut. Ah, welcher ja. ist das, der da drin steht? Das ist der M117, mhm. der Alumotor. Ja. Den gab es dann von uns in verschiedene Hubraum-Varianten, also als sehr mäßigen 5 Liter äh, bis zu 6 Liter Hubraum, ja, mit Nicht natürlich schlecht. auch dementsprechend Leistung. Äh, weiter natürlich auch die ganze, die ganze Technik, also Fahrwerk, mhm. äh, Abgasanlage, Sportabgasanlage. Ah, Wahnsinn, es wusste ich gar nicht, dass ihr wirklich schon durch alle Technikkomponenten damals durchgegangen seid in der G-Klasse. War ja damals echt. schon der Fall, ja. Wahnsinn. Ähm, Sonderanfertigungen, wo da sieben Sitzer rauskamen, ja. <lacht> wir hatten, äh, weiter hatten wir auch ein XXL gebaut, ähm, also eine Verlängerung von der, von der G-Klasse. Ähm, lauter solche Komponenten waren dann bei uns im Prinzip schon ganz viele Jahre vorher Wahnsinn. weltweit natürlich ähm, für die Kunden ähm, im Angebot. Ich schiel schon die ganze Zeit so ein bisschen in die Richtung, da schlägt mein Motorsportlerherz natürlich höher, wenn ich solche Bilder sehe. Ihr habt G-Klassen auch für Rallyes vorbereitet? Hier als Beispiel habe ich die Paris Dakar, war damals die bekannteste. Oh, äh, da hatten Wahnsinn. wir einen 280 GE vorbereitet mit Leistungssteigerung. Äh, Fahrwerk hatten wir verändert und äh, noch einige andere technische Raffinessen. Klasse, echt der Wahnsinn. Ich lese hier Jackie X. Jackie X ist auch mit einer Jackie mit X unterwegs Für gewesen. ihn hatten wir auch ein Fahrzeug vorbereitet, ja. Also es gab nichts, was es nicht gab. Wahnsinn. Also AMG bringt die G-Klasse sogar in den Motorsport. Nicht schlecht, nicht Richtig. schlecht. 
Ich muss sagen, jedes Mal, wenn ich bei dir hier oben bin, lerne ich wieder was dazu. Es ist echt immer wieder eine helle Freude. Das Der freut Wahnsinn. mich auch. Danke dir. Klar, sehr gerne. Ich habe mitbekommen, für dich geht es jetzt weiter. Mhm. Du gehst zur Wiege des G nach Graz. Ich wünsche dir viel Spaß dabei und äh, hau rein. <lacht> Dankeschön, Dankeschön. I say that's the sign for us to go outside and hit the road, pack the G63 and go to where the G-Class is actually made. So come on, follow me. Get me home. Starting root guidance. So we are heading home. Only home in this case means Graz in Austria. That's where we're going today. This is where the G-Class is actually produced. Every G-Class that you see on the road comes out of one factory that is located in Graz in Styria, um, one of the Austrian states, and that's where we're going today. We're going to the birthplace of the G, if you will. Now you might remember, back in our four-wheel drive video, we already had the chance to put the G63 through its paces. That was a lot of fun, together with Mark, and back then he invited us to come to him, to Graz, to experience the G in its natural habitat firsthand. And I'm gonna pick up right where we left off because I'm gonna meet Mark in Graz and take him up on his offer. Here we are. We made it to Graz. What a drive it was. But it's really time for me to hit the hay and we meet again tomorrow. All right, after a great night's sleep, it's now time to hit the road again and get to the G-Class Experience Center. Mr. <laughs> AMG. Mr. G. Yeah. Warm welcome. <laughs> Thank you, thank How you. How was your trip from Stuttgart? Absolutely amazing, thanks to this. I think so too. Thanks so, for having me. Warm welcome to the G-Class Experience Center, or how I call it, my living room. <laughs> so I know you're a real expert for all the AMG models and especially maybe for the G63. I'd say so, yeah. We will test it today. But what we will also do is to have a little bit more off-road experience. Our last time when we met us was in Immendingen. Uh -huh. So that was easy off-road today. We are here at the base of the G-Class in Graz and have a look at the G-Class Experience Center and especially for the G-Rock. You will discover nice. this with the G-Class together. That's going to be our playground for today. One of our playgrounds. We have four <laughs> prepared for you. So today we will explore the G-Class and we will see both faces. So the shiny one like your G-Class, but also we will get the muddy one, you know. Oh, sounds so promising. We have prepared four special tracks. We have two off-road areas and of course two on-road areas but first of all i would like to invite you in our chi base because there's really something there? special you know maybe about the amber cube you heard about this one? Oh yeah i did okay let's go inside <laughs> definitely yeah okay I can't wait it's have a look wow <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know where to look first in here, but that is really something special. And really heavy, 44.2 tons and one of the first G-Class from the model year 79. Wow. That was the year when we launched the G-Class. <laughs> Absolutely amazing, definitely G-worthy that thing. And on the other side, you will see G-Class number one from the wow. world press event from Detroit in the year 2018. So this is the very first one of the current generation. 
Correct. Number nice. one and model year number one from the G63 AMG is still at the plant because mm -hmm. we launched it in Geneva at the yeah, motor show. Yeah. I mean, this also got a V8 under the hood, so that's the important thing to me. Okay, <laughs> this is perfect. You're a petrol head. Perfect. <laughs> exactly. So, here oh, wow. you will see everything. So for every G-Class customer, it's necessary to come one time to Graz. And now we have over 1 million combinations. Now we have 37 colors for the G-Class. There's something for every taste. Yes. So every customer is really special. And you see the different color and the stitching of the seats. And every G-Class, it's handmade. Over 80% of the whole car, it's still handmade from our colleagues from Magna. And here you see the game manufacturer in every color. Wow. Well, wow, there's really nothing that that's not possible. I mean, there's colors I've never seen before. So now they can choose G350 diesel, G400, G500, G63, but now over one million combinations. So <laughs> you can make your own G-Class. Here you can feel the leather, really special, really high quality, the luxury that the customer can also feel. Nice. The quality of the seats. Feels awesome and looks awesome. Um, so, Felix, I want to show you. Ah, I recognize that one. That's Jack X's car up there. Yes. We saw that yesterday at the archive. Really? The, the original one? Yeah, well, a picture of it. A picture, okay. <laughs> but today we will drive much more slower, okay? <laughs> so, Felix, here, a really special model. You're missing the chassis. Awesome. But on this model, you can see both sides and both faces <laughs> of the G Class. <laughs> Pretty so, much. The dirty and muddy version. And on the other side, the shiny version. So my favorite side is the muddy and dirty version. I kind of tend more towards the, uh, the on-road side I think it depends on your three letters AMG, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> so because you are always perfect dressed with a G-Class. So you can park in true. the countryside and the mountain everywhere or directly in front of the opera. But I have a special guest for you here, my colleague Florian, and he will give you all the ah. technical details about the new G-Class. And there he is. Ah, hi, how's it going? Hello, yeah, I'm fine, and you? <laughs> Very well. I mean, I've, never, I've never seen it undressed like this before. Yeah. This looks pretty interesting, I gotta say. Yeah, but what you see here is the, the backbone of the G-Class, more or less. Uh -huh. So you see the leather frame, which is a part we use since 1979. Mm -hmm. um, the leather frame gives the car the torsion stiffness it needs uh -huh. uh, and the robustness uh, in his off-road capability. I already see some pretty serious stuff, I gotta say. I mean. This right here, that looks like proper off-road gear. It's a strut brace, it's, it's taking the forces coming from the struts. Um, that gives also much more uh, torsion stiffness to, the, to, the, to this backbone, more mm -hmm. or less. Um, as you can see here, the whole front axle is completely redesigned since uh, our model year uh, 2018. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, so we have now an independent axle on the front with a double wishbone. Uh, geometry. That's actually quite revolutionary for the yeah, G-Class. Yeah. yeah, it is. Yes. Yeah, it was. A, it was a big decision to yeah. go in that way, but it was necessary for, uh, for for some things. The first thing was to to implement a new steering. Mm -hmm. So the, we have now an electromechanical steering, which, oh, okay. which gives a, a way better steering feeling and steering behavior. So that was what was a thing that was really old-fashioned in the in the old version of the car. Um, and the second thing is that you have to fulfill the all the uh, different regulations uh, the you got on that front. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Relations, yeah. Uh, yeah, having the having had the opportunity to drive the old G sixty three and the new G sixty three back to back, I gotta say the steering really makes a world of yeah, difference. Yeah. It's so amazing how well that behemoth of a car handles now. It's it's just yeah. mind blowing. Yeah, so so the whole on road behavior did not one step, but three steps mm -hmm. from mm -hmm. the old to the new. And but we could could manage to also add something on the off-road behavior. Mm -hmm. I, I, I won't say we, we stayed on what we had, so but we we did one st uh, step ahead. And mm -hmm. when we started with designing the the model year 2018, somewhere in 2040, the the main aim was we have to build up an off-roader which which has on-road abilities mm -hmm. and not opposite yeah makes sense and you can see that it really came together yeah. you recognize the parts from different cars yeah. I mean I can remember the strut bar seeing it last on the CLA 45s yes. looks <laughs> completely different of course um, totally totally different purpose here on that front and it is it is really serious business looking at all those at all those massive parts also the way that the ladder frame sort of 
wraps around the drive shaft. Really amazing construction you guys got there. But on the rear, you still got a right, rigid axle on the on the rear, as it was before uh, mm -hmm. the change. Um, but now with two two wishbones. Mm -hmm. two, uh, mm -hmm. So here you can see the the anti roll bar, which is cutted on on the AMG side. Oh yeah. So on the on the rear axle, you has you have. Uh, anti-roll bar only on the AMG version. Oh, on the okay. front axle, the anti-roll bar is also much stiffer than in the in the normal Daimler version. So you can see the the AMG is more for the street, more mm -hmm. for on-road, but the DNA is the same in both versions. So you got yeah. a little more flexibility on this side yeah. and a little more on-road yeah. stiffness on that side. On that side, yes. But still but maintaining the DNA, of course. Yes, <laughs> 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 that's right. One of the special things what is in the dna of every g-class are the differential locks mm. you have three different differential locks on the g-class so on the front and rear axle and uh, in between on the um, gearbox the center part so yeah. gentlemen i think you talked a lot about the theory our fans from the firm amg format want to see the real conditions in the g-class and i want to show you the piano how we call it the three magic button in reality nice. so gentlemen please follow me <laughs> let's go For all G-Class customers who want to go with their G63 to go off-road, we have a special package and version. That's the G63 with trail package. Nice. You see on the tires that the 20 inch Altera tire, but- Also nice rims, like perfect. it. Perfect. But this is really special. Yeah. We had a new one that's the, called the shackle proof patch. Mm -hmm. And the shackle, that's the place where the G-Class learned to walk. And Felix, I want to show you going straight up like 45 kilometers in this direction you see the small mountain that's the shackle that's it back there that's the shackle and the that's world the place famous shackle and that's the place where the g-class learned to walk and the test track is like 5.6 kilometers but we measure only 3.4 and every g-class must go up and down to uh -huh. get at 2000 kilometers that means wow. 330 times up and 330 times down and this is perfect because it's all rocky uh -huh. because all we never change the surface and we have all the data since the last 40 years so when we improve and our aim is <laughs> to improve always the g-class to make it better and better because when we launched the G-Class, the aim was to build the best off-road vehicle in the world. That's what we did, what we do, and what we always will do in the future. And that's the place where we always test and measure. The place of the, inception. Nice. That's cool. really heavy for the chassis, for the whole car. Uh -huh. But the maximum slope on the shackle mount, it's only 50%. Today, you will go until 80, until 100. 100% incline. That means 45 <laughs> degree. 45 degree you can do with every car. But sometimes with many cars, only one time. Yeah. With the G-Class, you can do it much more often. But before we will start, I want to show you the piano, the three diff locks. Okay. How does it work? So we have here prepared four rolls. These rolls are open, so it's like slippery, like okay. snow and ice. We lock these two, so we will have traction on this roll. Uh -huh. These rolls are open too, and these rolls are fixed. So, <laughs> on this two, we will have traction. On the other two, we have no traction. Jump around, so Florian is in the car. So when we go off-road, we all start with the low gear, with the reduction, uh -huh. and we always lock the center lock. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. then we have no ABS, no ESP, no electronic help system. That's a real car now. <laughs> so Florian, please come inside. And when we lock in a normal G-Class, we go back to 50% of the power on the front axle uh -huh. and 50 on the rear. So normally we have 40 and 60 40, with 60. the new generation. But if you lock the center, you go back to 50-50. Florian, please. What happens now? What's happened now? So we have two spinning wheels. One spinning wheel on the rear and at the same time, one spinning wheel at the front. Now you can go full acceleration, but nothing happens. When you're uh -huh. driving in the dunes, you only go down, not forward. Dig that's, yourself in. So that's the reason why we can lock number two, the rear diff lock. That means we will get a stiff connection from both wheels of one axle. 
and one wheel will bring us forward and you will hear so Florian please because on this tire we have traction but no power at the moment mm -hmm. when Florian press number two you will hear it and the cheek glass will move forward ha, crazy and the reason why we have three diff locks in the car I will show you now Flo please come reverse and stop and now go back to drive please so now we have three spinning wheels <laughs> that is so crazy <laughs> we are only on one wheel in the front we have normally traction <laughs> but when we look on the other side you see Felix that the front wheel it's much faster than on the rear it's yeah, totally true. easy so we lock the center that means 50% of the power will be on the front axle but all goes to one wheel and 50 on the rear and that means 25 each ah. and the reason why we have three diff locks is to lock now number three that means all four wheels have the same rotation all the time and trust me for the cheetahs it's only one way only forward so Florian please press number three and you will see it's locked the clutch is in and the cheetahs will move like magic that's it the three magic buttons well now I got it now I definitely got it we will see the whole day if you got it. <laughs> <laughs> so now I want to show you the axle twist. And you learn that we have now a single suspension in the front. On the rear you can see a rigid axle. <laughs> Long dumping ways. But we never lose anything on our off-road capability. So second diff lock and the car will tip. Holy cow. That's perfect. That's the way how to change a tire in the desert. And then he comes up and down and you see have a look at the rigid axle long dumping way and then so and if you're really strong <laughs> let me catch it in case it, could, in case it falls it's so over. easy to tip a cheek glass huh? <laughs> so. and please on this wall you oh will my see God the off-road capabilities of a G-Class and this six key figures means for us to be the best off-road vehicle in the world <laughs> and when we launch a new one we make a much better on-road performance but we never do any compromise yeah. on the off-road performance I can see that I mean this almost looks comical you look at it and you go like there's no way any car in the world could ever drive over that later you will get the same but on natural ground <laughs> and here you can see ground clearance 20 around about 24 centimeters the maximum inclination is 35 degrees the previous model it was only 29 now we have maximum forting depth until 70 centimeters maximum slope 100 percent 45 it's similar as to the previous model 100%. and trust me in the afternoon you will get the feeling what means 100 percent it's not only a number and it's not 45 degree outside temperature it feels my stomach's already turning just <laughs> thinking about it perfect and angle of departure angle of approach are similar or a little bit better as in the previous model so we never make any compromises because cheese means off-road and it is and it was and it will be in the future the best off-road vehicle in the world so and then i want to show you the side inclination so florian please I always get the question what is the real chipping point for a cheek loss I can't even look at it you can go until 35 degree maybe Holy a little bit moly. more and then you, you can play you can do everything but you see so the real tipping point it depends on the pressure of the tires uh -huh. if you have something on the roof and how fast you will go in yeah. the obstacle this mix together and there's no warning system the game is totally easy when it was too much the car will tip yeah. but mostly <laughs> for our customer your brain said oh that's the limit <laughs> but today you will go until 35 degree florian thank you so much for your support and your technical information you're welcome and felix enjoy your day here on the cheetahs experience in graz <laughs> i flow i will do my best so felix now we're ready for rumble come thanks, on thanks 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 for having us <laughs> So Felix, I think we will start with your favorite car, with the AMG. Yes. So you will get today uh, individual coaching from my side. So please jump inside. Don't have to tell me twice. Yes. I've been waiting for this all day. Uh, and Felix, you know, 
S class with the soft close. Yeah. You know the soft close version from Graz? No. That will be our sound. This is our soft close. <laughs> Please start the engine. You know which program. So we will start with a handling parkour. We will do a little bit of slalom, full acceleration, you know, 585 horsepower from 0 to 104.5 seconds. So, Felix, please keep going. Awesome. You must go back to drive before you start. <laughs> Start slalom on Sports Plus. The track is free for you. Go, my friend. 16, try all the time the same speed. Right, left, much easily. No braking, it's an AMG, my friend. What are you doing? It's not a GTR Black Series, what we launched that wasn't yet. Me. That it's was a ESP. G class. Much more smoothly, more comfort. So try again. The slalom open, much more closer to the coins, easily. Oh, that was the first one. It's not a bowling track here. What are you doing, my friend? <laughs> the last one. Be gentle with the car. Go for it. It's a G63. Yes. Right and left. Closer. Right. Yes. Go forward. Yes. That looks pretty. Oh, one hit. Two hittings. Oh, no. <laughs> So Felix, now I want to show you and I want that you will feel it, the acceleration of the G63. That means 4.5 seconds. Full acceleration and at my line you will do a full braking. Okay, three, two, one and go. <laughs> go, 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 go. And now full brake. Perfect, well done. <laughs> 130, 140. Uh, best day at work ever. All right, what's up next? Lane exchange. With wet surface, we start the first thing without braking with 50 kilometers per hour. You will start to steer after the two yellow coins. So please go with 50. And it's not a bowling ground, okay? 50, it's yeah, totally yeah, easy. I Please go. I understood you. <laughs> and all we drive all in Sports Plus Modi. And then right, and right, yes, perfect. Well done. Oh, that didn't feel too bad. It's still amazing how nimble this car feels considering how tall and heavy it is. We do the same with 70 kilometers. The track is free, it's for you, go! Smooth steering, go! Looks nice. And left and right and go straight, perfect! So that was 70 and it felt like the car didn't even try, amazing! So Felix, we will do the same now with 85 because you're a professional driver. You can do the same with 85, no braking. Please go! And the cheek that it's really safe and comfortable. Yes, yeah, perfect. And now turn left and right, yes. Okay, well done. Didn't feel too bad. Did I hit a cone? Ah, oh, I got one. Well, Mark promised a playground when, when he invited us. And he definitely kept his word. So Felix, we had the second off-road challenge and obstacle, the skid plate. Go for your first round. When you lose the control by a vehicle, always press the brake and then you will be safe and smooth and easily. But please, it's your turn. 45 kilometers per hour. Go back, perfect, and turn left, back. Well, well done, well done. Ah. What's the difference between 45 and 52? Seven kilometers. <laughs> My friend, you're always too fast. I think that's a problem of the AMG colleagues. All right. This time 45. 45. Counter swirling soft and smooth with the steering wheel. You turn right and now for break. Yeah, not too bad for the second run. It's not similar like a GT. No, it isn't. And then we go back to the start, completely ESP off, and you will do the same with 40 kilometers. 
and then I'm sure you will feel the difference. So, the track is free, be careful, and sometimes you will have a dancing G class. We call it the Wiener Walzer, the famous dance from Austria. So, please. All right, Wiener Walzer it is. 40 kilometers. Feels it's much really more slow. difficult as with the ESP on, and you will see what's happening. Holy! And totally on the brake. Yeah, that's totally normal. <laughs> that's a free clean wash, also. Perfect. Well done. <laughs> And we do it twice in the second round. There was literally nothing I could do to stop that car from spinning. Everyone can it. So go for the next one. So we will do it now with 40 ESP off. Go for it. Let's dance. Always on the brake. Wonderful. Oh, okay. <laughs> that's it. So here you can see, oh that's neutral because for the car was a safety feature. Now go back to drive. It's not so easy, so we are really happy that we have all this electronic like ABS and ESP. Oh. Wow, we only did three on-road exercises and I'm already a sweating mess. So there's definitely a lot more to look forward to in part two of our epic G-Glass journey. So stay tuned for that. See you guys in the next one.